having the event um, here this evening is, is it's a perfect location. I mean, Blake is kind of, um, you know, ground zero for all the wonderful talent that we have in our community for art. This community uh, just celebrates the arts here in, the, in this part of Tampa. So it makes perfect sense for our scholastic art and writing uh, uh, award ceremony to be here this evening. We always look forward to holding showcases at Blake and, and really showing the talent that Blake High School has to offer and, and, and the, the school is also a, a landmark in the district and we're always happy to, to have any type of event here at Blake High School. This is the second year that it, um, it's actually been at Blake High School, um, but again, we're the only fine arts, um, performing arts high school in the district and so this is a perfect venue for it. Many of the students that I've known since they were little are, have artwork here and I just came to be supportive and see their artwork and attend the event because it's always a very well attended event and the food was great too. <laughs> a little dish that we like to do for your dessert, it's called Bananas Foster. So ladies. Suncoast is all about giving back to the community, especially to the students. We like think art brings a whole new level of education to the students and we enjoy it so much. So we're so excited about the Scholastic Art and Writings Awards because it gives us a chance to showcase you know, student talent in the art and writing areas. And the great thing about this competition, it's a national competition in 118 different sites. And the winners from here in Hillsborough actually have a chance to go on to New York City and, and compete at the national level at Carnegie Hall. Uh, we're delighted to be a sponsor of this event, the reception for the Arts and Writing Contest, because it's important to support the arts in our community. Um, at the Lightning Foundation, we like to support all different areas of our community. We work for an amazingly generous owner um, who feels it's our, it's our role as a sports team to give back and to inspire others in the community. And the arts is an amazing way in which um, we can inspire others and just I'm delighted to be able to showcase all the great talent we have here. darkness and he's kind of like embracing nothing really and uh, the untitled one is just kind of me practicing digital art nothing really deep behind that one also from Blake High School Alexandra Eason This year for AP Studio Art, I have a concentration of hands where I make environments out of hands to show like a story of like a girl going through and like interacting with all of the things in the world. Um, Maxine's um, drawings over here that she does like nature environmental artwork. The next winner is Maxine Gaskino. This 
is my work. It's fossil fuels versus alternative energy. And so my work basically revolves around how environmental studies and problems are causing difficulties in today's society. So it's about things like whaling, poaching, uses of oils and how they affect the environment. Um, I'm really working towards that this year, and so that's been really cool for me. Um, my artwork, it's titled Nocturne Coterie. It means kind of night club, night group, and it's, it's a group of kind of oddball animals riding through the night, and I don't, I don't really have a concrete story for this piece. I wanted the viewer to think about it and try to think about why they're on the bike and where they might be going. Um, I think the piece really made itself. I started drawing during class one day and I started doodling and then it, it just came to be. So it's really just my imagination kind of spit out on a piece of paper. I did a uh, painting over there in acrylic and oil. It's called In Utero and it was inspired by 2001 Space Odyssey. I started painting almost as soon as the movie was over uh, and was really inspired by the Star Baby concept. I thought that was cool. I have that and also uh, Ink and Digital piece up uh, there. It's a forest, it's monochromatic. I was just experimenting and doodling and doing uh, different line work things and then uh, I got home and scanned it in and colorized it digitally. But what's really neat is to see the expression coming out of the students and being able to look at that expression and know that it's a little bit of academic but it's a lot of emotion and when you're an artist you really do art from within your heart and it, you can see that in the quality of the art here.